Computers need to be able to store both positive and negative numbers in binary. The only two symbols available in binary are 0 and 1. There are not symbols available for negative and positive. So we need a way of representing negative values that uses just 1s and zeros. There are two methods that a computer can use. Sign and magnitude method and the 2's complement method. In this video we look at 2's complement. Imagine the millimetre of a car. When it starts at the factory, the millimetre is set to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. It's travelled 0 miles. If the car goes forward 1 mile, the reading now becomes 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Imagine if the metre was turned back 1 mile, it would read 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. In effect, we could interpret we could interpret this 99999 as being minus 1 mile and this as being plus 1 mile. 2's complement works in a very similar fashion. Notice that if the number starts with a 1 it represents a negative number. If it starts with a 0 it represents a positive number. In 2's complement, the most significant bit stays as a number, but we turn it negative. That means the waiting line now looks like this. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and then the most significant bit has a weighting of negative 128. Let's try again storing the number positive 117. It's a positive number, so we have a 0 in the left hand column, and then it's 164, a 32, a 16, 0 eighths, 1 4, 0 twos, and a 1. 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 4 plus 1, equaling positive 117. To store minus 117, we start by placing a 1 in the minus 128 box. We now need to add on positive numbers in the appropriate columns to bring that number up from minus 128 to minus 117. So we end up with the 1, then 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. That's minus 128 added to a positive 8, a positive 2, and a positive 1, bringing our total up to minus 117. Here we saw the representations for the number minus 3 and for the number positive 3. As of course we were aware, if you add a positive number to the same version of the negative number, we should know it was 0. This should work in binary as well. So we're going to attempt to do positive 3, add it to minus 3, and the result obviously we should get is 0. Except we're going to do this now in binary. First, we lay out the two binary numbers under each other. Be careful with your placement. Make sure when you're doing binary addition and subtraction to line up the numbers underneath the columns. Here at the top, we have the binary waiting line. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. And because we have a negative number, we're in 2's complement. So our left and most significant bit is minus 128. The first number here represents negative 3 and this number here represents positive 3. As mentioned earlier, we, as we have a 1 in the most significant bit we represent a negative number and a 0 in the most significant bit represents a positive number. We now go along from right to left and add the numbers up just as we would two normal deanery numbers. First of all we take the 1 and the 1. 1 and 1 in binary is 0 
carry the 1. Remember, there is no 2 in binary, and we can't put a 2 in this column. 2 in binary is 1, 0, and the extra 1 has to be carried over. The next column now has a 0 and a 1 and a 1. Again, 1 and 1 in binary is 0, carry the 1. 1, 0 and 1 is 0, carry the 1. 1, 0 and 1 is 0, carry the 1. 1, 0 and 1 is 0, carry the 1. 1 more, 0, carry 1. 1 more, 0, carry 1. And finally, a 1, a 0 and a 1 is a 0, carry the 1. This final carry of 1 is outside the range that we're dealing with. So we simply ignore this carry. As you can see, the final number we end up with is a string of eight zeros, which of course can just be thought of normally as zero. And this is what we're expecting. Now let's look at how you do binary subtraction. The easiest way of performing binary subtraction is to first convert the number to be subtracted to a negative number and then do addition. Let's work through the example of subtracting 12 from 15 using one byte to represent each whole number. So instead of doing the sum 15 minus 12, which equals 3, we're going to do the sum 15 added to minus 12, which of course will still equal 3. The difference here is once we've converted the number, you can do normal binary addition as we've just shown. There is a neat little method for converting a positive number, in this case 12, into its negative version, minus 12. First write out the positive number you want to convert, in this case 12. Here it is. We have a 1 in the 8 column, a 1 in the 4 column, 8 plus 4 is 12. Starting from the right hand side, we leave all the digits alone up to and including the first one, and we copy them out exactly as they are. So here we are so far. We've copied every number exactly as it is up to and including the first one. The naught becomes a naught, the naught becomes a naught, the one becomes a one. As soon as we encounter the first one, we then change all the other digits from naught to one or from one to naught. So the one becomes a naught and all the remaining noughts become ones. The result is minus 12. So this top number was positive 12 and this bottom number is negative 12. This simple method works every time for converting a positive number into its negative version. Now that we have the negative version, we can perform binary addition in the normal way. Let's work through one together. So here we have the number 15 and we have the number negative 12. And now we can simply perform binary addition like before. So first of all we take the 0 and the 1. A 0 and a 1 added together are 1 and we can place that here. We now have another 0 and 1. 0 and 1 added together are 1. We can place that here. In the next column we have a 1 and a 1. A 1 and a 1 in binary is 2 or 1, 0. So we place the 0 in this column and we carry the 1. A 0, 1 and 1 is 0 carry the 1. 1, 0, 1 is 0, carry the 1. A 1, 0, 1 is 0, carry the 1. A 1, 0, 1 is 0, carry the 1. And finally, a 1, 0, 1 is 0, carry the 1. Again, this final carry bit falls outside the range, so we discard it. As you can see, what we are left with is a 1 in the 2 column, and a 1 in the 1 column. And you don't need me to tell you that 2 plus 1 equals 3, which is the answer we were expecting.